Hey guys, so I actually plan on doing a review for all the episodes in season 10. This is the first time I've ever done this, that I've ever, you know, reviewed anything, you know, this long, basically. So that's like, I'm going to be reviewing 23 episodes with these guys, including Crowley. This poster does not have Crowley on it. I love him, but... Team Free Will, always. So, yes. So first episode, season 10, was titled Black. I am going to be going by character. I actually tried to review it last night before I went to sleep, but it was like 10 o'clock and I have school. So, I can really do that. Um, I don't know if I will always be going by character, but since each one of them is so individual, that episode, I honestly am going by character. So, first, I'm gonna go by character and then my likes and dislikes. So, first is Dean. What I liked is that it was kind of an interesting take on like his twisted soul, and like he has to fight to maintain any sense of humanity. Like Crowley said, like if he doesn't fight, then he becomes more and more of a demon, which. I didn't know they would do that, so that's really cool. I honestly expected him to be like, full demon, just running amok and being devious and evil and whatnot and stuff. And that would have been pretty cool. But uh, anyway, moving on. Um, Jensen's acting oh, was amazing. Um, I don't always stroke my posters. Note that I just wanted to have this as a backdrop. Sorry, I'm alluding to it. But yes, his acting was absolutely phenomenal. It literally looks like he didn't care at all. So, props. And you can really see, like, distinct things between normal Dean and Demon Dean. And that is really cool. So, props who's acting. Um, and I love Demon Dean's style with the hair. I'm actually going to get that hair um, later this year or next year. I'm not sure yet. It needs to be shorter. It's too long. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what I thought was okay was the bad karaoke. It was kind of cringe worthy. Um, it was funny. But it was cringeworthy, like, simultaneously. So, eh, it was a little out there, a little, it was honestly a little too much. Um, and it's also okay that, you know, he basically has, like, no filter and he's just kind of badass, you know. Not fully, not as much as I would expect, because I feel like he would rather have fun than, you know, kill whatever. Uh... What I don't like is is the fact that he is still mostly himself, and he's a lot different from what I thought that he'd be. Um, and I don't I also don't like that he doesn't care about Sam at all, and that kills me. I'm sorry, it destroys me how much Dean doesn't care about Sam. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. Um, and it honestly seemed like he would, he should have been more bad. Um, and also, I am confused as to whether or not, because uh, I think most of us know, or at least some of us know, that Dean drinking and sleeping with women is basically kind of like a coping mechanism for, you know, all the crowds going on, and when he just wants to, like, lay back, forget about it, he, like, does these things. As Demon Dean, he's living it up he's doing this all the time so I don't know if it's just because he's a demon or is it because he doesn't really want to embrace that other side of him I, I don't know I don't know so it's I'm I'm questioning like that aspect of him um next Sam Sham Sham Sam Honey, sweetheart, he... Okay, first off, he's scaring me. Um, just, I wanted to just put that out there. He is scaring me. Um, 
that opener literally was so uh, but I saw it before because that was like the released preview and I was like holy crap Sam you're scaring me um but I like his motivation to find Dean and all the like all his cute little puppy dog faces <laughs> I just he needs a hug he needs a hug this is why this is why Cass helps him so that he gets hugs whenever he's sad head cannon accepted and that thing too with um you know how he hurt his arm and apparently Cass was helping him and um and you know I think Sam said that it wasn't Cass's fault but we're gonna go to that uh, in a little bit I dislike I extremely dislike how he finds out about how Dune is a demon I do not like that and ever since I saw it in that preview thing before <laughs> I don't like it it absolutely was it was really they could have done something else I feel like they really could have you know done it a little differently because him looking at a surveillance camera seeing his brother and, and just saying that he has, like, black eyes. And I also don't like, um, when, when Crowley is on the phone with Sam. Because literally Sam is this close to talking to Dean. And he just gets, like, crap from Crowley. Crowley's just like, oh, she's my bestie. Like, uh. And I'm just like, dude, shut up. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they could have done something better there. Um, I also kind of don't like, um, I get that, you know, he, Sam is just being, like, nice to Cass and, like, you know, not having him do things, you know, Sam's probably like, I don't want to, you know, put pressure. I said, you know, way too many times. I'm trying to think of stuff. Uh, basically, Sam didn't want to stress out Cass because he realizes that Cass is dying. And Cass, on the other hand, see, there's Cass's side, which is basically he feels useless because he, he can't help Sam, even though he wants to. So that makes me, like, be like, Sam, no. So it's not like Sam is trying to be mean. He's trying to be like, dude, you're not helping me that well. Like, stop. Like, I know that Sam, that's not what he's trying to say to Cass. But Cass is really taking that as, you know, I can't even help, but I'm trying to. Uh, if you, you know, uh, discern it in a different way, you might, but th that's how, like, I basically see it. Um, yeah. Uh, Cass. <laughs> Honey Sunshine. Um... <laughs> Him in a robe. Talk about the best wardrobe look he ever had ever. Um, oh my god. That was just a tease. Literally, us cast girls swooning. I honestly, I couldn't. I was like, wow, Cass, you look really good. Um, even though you're dying. You, like, I, you know, I'm looking at him and I'm like, oh, you're so cute. You're sleeping. You're so beautiful. And you know, your robe. But then I'm like, you're dying. This is not supposed to be cute. <laughs> this is supposed to be sad. So, uh, I'm just, yeah, anyway, I like his motivation to help find Dean, because he misses him, and my heart, my heart just cries. Um, I like his mentions of free will, and how he's, like, actually, like, really smart in these situations with these other angels that are, like, doing stupid crap, and he's like, bro, listen. Like, you know, heaven crap, whatever. Um, and I dislike that he had to kill that one angel, but that was Hannah's fault. I want to talk about her flaws later. Anyway. Next is Crowley. I still like his personality. Um, and his motive- I like, a lot, his motivation to get Dean to work with him in ruling hell. That's so awesome. I thought that would be really sick. I don't like their dynamic, though, with the bitch jerk thing. That was, that took it too far. That just made me be like, uh-uh. <laughs> no. No. Um, I, 
I tell these characters not a lot. Mainly, it's this friggin' premiere. <sighs> it's so frustrating. Um, and I, I, I really don't like him hoarding Dean. That's basically what I disliked. Um, Anne Marie. Oh my God, she's not a flat character. What? She's not a flat female character because most of them, especially the ones that sleep with Dean, like, they're just, like, there and gone the next, you know, whatever. And, you know, they, they don't have that much personality. They're just kind of pretty and, and he's, like, round and they're, like, hmm, I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. It's after school. And I'm just, I'm very unprofessional. I really doubt anyone will watch this. Or any of my reviews, but if you do, note that I kind of ramble. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Moving on. And I'm a massive fangirl, so if I start making weird noises or weird faces, I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very passionate about this show. If you, <laughs> you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, so Anne-Marie, her personality is fabulous. And um, the only thing I, I really didn't like about her is, like, it's kind of sad. Like, her backstory and that, like, jerk that she was dating and all. It's like, honey, she deserves way better than, you know, what she has. Uh, Hannah, there's not too much that I like about her. The one thing I do like, though, is the fact that, like, she's working with Cass. And I honestly believe that she'll, like, learn something. She'll, like, take something away from Cass and, you know, take it with her forever and have, like, a totally new perspective on heaven and how to, like, treat everyone and she just oh, i have the hugest hopes that she will get better like a lot of people are like i hate hannah she's meh and honestly i agree i do not like her for the crap she did but i feel like she might just redeem herself and that's what i'm excited for like excited for ed yes um i know my grammar um <laughs> And, uh, I don't like the fact that she's still so, you know, you know, I'm, I'm an angel, I'm a soldier, I follow my dad, whatever, I follow the rules of heaven, blah, 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 and I don't, I only see black and white, I see no gray, and, uh, yeah, just wanna be like, girl, you cast better teach you something, I swear to God, um, more like, I swear to Chuck. Uh, next, Cole. Cole is a little shit. I'm just gonna get that out there. I've been calling him that <laughs> since I saw, like, previews with him. Because... <sighs> that's all he is. And that's all he will ever be to me. And I feel like he's gonna die in the next episode. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think he's gonna die. And I think... Sam is gonna kill him. And that's honestly what me and my friend think. We both think that Sam's just gonna be like, shh. No. Just like, kill him. Um, so I don't like him. I feel bad, because he has a family, and I did not expect that. I did not expect I thought he was gonna be like, I thought he was gonna be like alone in a little apartment with like all these weapons, and obviously he still has weapons. But I mean, like, I thought he was gonna be alone, and I thought he was gonna just be like, must find Dean, must kill Dean, and I'm like, honey you're, you're not gonna get to that point. <laughs> There's like, no way. You walk up to Dean, and he will stab you, and you will bleed out on the floor and die. So, Cole is stupid. I don't like him at all. If you like him, I'm sorry. I, no! Cole is stupid. <laughs> yeah, he's just stupid. And the fact that he kidnapped Sam basically was like, nah, I got it. You know, you're gonna call Dean, and I'm gonna talk to him, and, uh-uh. And that was another occasion where Sam was this close to talking to Dean, and it's like, why would you do that? That's like the worst tease ever. Writers, screw you guys. Also, um, I think the most positive thing I could ever say about any character is the cashier guy. <laughs> I love him. He wins all the awards. He's very entertaining and funny. And I dislike the fact that he's not around longer. 
Overall, I rate this a 6 out of 10. The plot was blah, but I think it will get better, and I'm eager to see what happens next. Thank you for watching.